What up guys? It's the end of a work day for us. It is a Friday, which means we get to live our lives. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. We've been hustling so hard on the barbell side. We can't wait for you guys to see all these new launches. Restocks happening. That's if you've uh, ordered like brown sugar boba that's coming your way. And we have some more stuff coming. Dude, it's been nuts. As you all know, and if you've been listening to the news, there's a bunch of supply chain shortages everywhere because of COVID and it's been nuts. But now it feels like everything's coming kind of back to normal and like supply stuff is getting fixed, whatever. That's what we've been working on this entire week and it feels like since fucking forever. But today, again, it's Friday, so stoked. The first thing we're gonna do is we're finally gonna get some Jumbi boba and I'm fucking excited because as you guys know, I live in Vegas. We yet to, we have yet to get one out there. So anytime I do come back to California, I really want to go and get some damn Jumbi. Um, but more than ever, I want to get it because it's guava season and I haven't had anything guava in a few years, to be honest with you. What is going on with the guavas? Why have I not had a fucking guava in so goddamn long? Why haven't we had guavas, babe? I love guava. You know guava is like one of my favorite fruits. You, can't, you, you don't love it more than me. I'm Taiwanese. I grew up on it. Well, you like the white guava? I like the Mexican I pink love, one. I love white guava. I like pink guava too. Okay, I'm gonna move over here because this fool's being fucking weird. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that pink guava. Mmm. And that that's. Guava. Okay, I'm gonna move further over here. Um, and let me just explain my appearance because it's been fucked up and I'm very much aware that I look fucked up Okay, I'm sorry that you have to stare at this for a minute But um, because we've been just freaking on a grind on a hustle Especially when we come out to California We get a little bit more time because grandma is watching Taika and Taika plays with his cousin blah 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 um, That we train our asses off still running the get lean program um, and then from there don't be grossed out, but we don't take a shower and we come straight to work and we just fucking grind it out for the next few hours until it's about like five and then uh, we go home. So this is a fucking shit show. But you know what? I'm so happy to report that as of today, I've lost 10 pounds according to the scale and I will preach this over and over and over again. Um, the scale is not the best indicator of weight loss. It's always gonna be the mirror. Because if you see what you like and you like what you see then you're on the right track Obviously if you want to go a little bit more scientific and a little bit more accurate you can do a DEXA scan uh, Which we did do at the beginning of running this program. We have a whole YouTube series on it um, On our barbell brigade YouTube channel So if you do want to follow along because we do release a new video every single week Please go ahead and do that because it's been fun because we added a little extra layer um, as you know Bart and I we're very competitive people. So we started a competition of who can lose the most body fat at the end of it. But again, um, because we do have to take a DEXA scan to get that specific information, um, during the middle of the series, we do weigh ourselves with the scale. So we kind of have to follow whatever the scale says just to kind of gauge who's kind of winning. Um, so check it out to see, because I, I think we just uploaded the first check-in which is like the four week mark, because it's a 12 week program. So the four week mark, go check it out to see who's in the lead. But again, I just want to brag and say that I've lost 10 pounds since then. I hope you're able to see it. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's so used to me being weird. What do you mean? How can you look like you're just in trouble? No, I had a really genius idea to write it down. I don't want to just lose out on a million dollars like that. Well, I'm talking to myself again. And you. Again, I'm sorry for this. I'll do better. What you got there, cutie pie? Oh, uh, this is my keys. I hate you. I hate you with all of my being. Why? Why? On your fucking... In your arms. In the arms of an angel. No, I'm just kidding. So these are our limited edition hardcover copies of the get lean and if you guys follow our barbell brigade instagram if you're not you're losing out because we've been doing hella giveaways and so these are going to our top 
three winners that won the limited edition hard cover giveaway yeah because i even wrote because um, you can only buy a digital product yeah because we want to make it easy so you can carry with you on the phone yeah. and uh we printed it out for ourselves but we just look so cool that we're like let's make some limited edition hard covers and i even wrote personal notes to them which is really cool i didn't want to write on the book and ruin it so yeah, i wrote it on this job. thing yeah that so if they want to tape it on the inside they can so it's technically i did sign it if they care about that if not they could wipe their ass with it too. yeah please wipe your ass with it nobody cares and i put a little bit more extra swag in there just because you know Winners, winners deserve a lot of stuff. So we went to Grandma's house to pick up the monkey dude and now we just parked at Jumbi. And he's out cold. Do you hear him snoring? I gotta fix his neck. Oh my god. How uncomfortable. Okay, hold on. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I fucking love it. Boy, 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 boy. Wait, who's Not here. Oh. Let me give you my power. Oh, she no, no. What is this game again? Minecraft. That's <laughs> real life Minecraft. Yeah. What does that do? Wait, wait, we can beat him up. Okay, let's beat him up. Go. Yeah, there's an axe on it. Okay. Now, let me, let me make a hole. You jumped in the hole? Yeah. Well, put a flat. Come on. Come here. Okay, well, they do that. Um, I just want to catch you up on something real quick. So, you know, tracking my macros. Um, I'm tracking my caloric intake, which means I, well, macronutrients, protein, carbohydrates, and um, carbs. Wait, protein, carbs, and fats. Um, so the Jumbi matcha drink, I love it. It was so perfect. And we do this um, in house, homemade or business made um, guava puree. So all the ingredients, high quality, fresh. Um, but if we know about nutrition, then we know that um, boba, carbs, Sugar, carbs, <laughs> fruit, carbs. So that entire drink was nothing but a big ass carb. And of course I had to drink the whole thing. But because I drank the whole thing, I maxed out my carbs. Let me show you what it looks like. It looks ridiculous. Where is my phone? Is that a bomb, okay? A bomb? I always lose my phone. Oh, here it is. Okay. So. And I spilled it on my shirt. I mean, that's the least of my worries. Okay, so let me show. Okay, so these are my numbers. So I'm supposed to hit a daily um, uh, 174 grams of carbs. Oops, it's, there we go. 174 grams of carbs, um, 42 grams of fat, and 179 grams of protein. Oh, and you notice how I went over already by, whoops, two, two grams. So all I can have right now are things that are high in fat, or relatively high, 27 grams high, and 133 grams of protein left that I have to fill. So I have to look for things that don't have carbs which means I'm only eating protein. And how much fat do I have? So fat, let me see, does an avocado have carbs? I'm learning a lot of stuff, avocado. Of course it has carbs, it's a fucking fruit. What the hell was I thinking? What do I do? So that's 12 grams of carbs. But the fat is great. It's 22 grams of fat. So the question is, <laughs> as I'm talking to you, this is happening in front of me. Hiya, 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 hiya. Oh no, oh no, an invisible man's beating him up. No! So I have a dilemma here. I am going to eat um, some swai, which I was like, why would I do that? It's so low in fat. 
but whatever. Um, I'll do that. Some shrimp, which is also low in fat. Oh, I know why I'm doing it, because I can't have carbs, so I need to be satiated, aka I need to feel full for the rest of the night. So I'm gonna try to hit that. I have 100 and something left. I'll figure it out, and I'll report back. But in the meantime, this is what's happening over here. Papa's now on the floor. What is happening? I was dead, but now it's round two. Oh, okay. So I found what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make some shrimp, fish, use some salt free. Mrs. Dash, this one is just the original flavor. And I'm gonna eat some, I'm gonna put some Monterey Jack cheese on it because check, check it out. Eight fat, zero carb. <sighs> Smells like feet. And I'm gonna cook in butter. One tablespoon is seven grams of fat. So I can cook with one tablespoon and about uh, almost half a cup. <laughs> We're back in business, baby. So bam, there it is. My butter shrimp with some limon and my little god and butter and limon. So I couldn't eat uh, the cheese because um, when I went to get it, it was actually moldy. So no cheese, I just added a little bit more butter and it worked. This guy over here, look at that. Oh. I'll ask you about it later, okay? I'm gonna eat right now. But look at it, look at it. It is diet friendly though, just let you know. It is, we'll talk about it. I just wanna eat my warm food. Taika finished all his dumplings, you be papa! Oh yeah, oh yeah, knuckles, knuckles. Oh yeah. Ah, sorry, forgot to film all the ingredients that were in Bart's macro-friendly noodle soup. But don't worry, he did a whole reel on it on his Instagram. So go to Bart Raquan, you'll see it there. He tells you what to buy, how to prepare it, that whole nine. I'm outside right now with Taika. It's been about two days since that last footage that you saw of us eating dinner. Um, Cause the, the day afterwards, um, we trained in the morning. When I came back home, I was about to take a shower and Taika ended up having another seizure. So this, what we thought, because we still weren't sure and the, you know, the test came back inconclusive. Uh, we kind of just chalked it up as dehydration or something. Uh, with the first seizure, but it's been confirmed that he does get seizures now and he did get one and it was Terrifying when I tell you it was terrifying. It was terrifying. I was in the shower Do you remember monkey when you had your seizure? Or when you fainted again, you don't remember Right now he has a bloody nose has nothing to do with the seizure, but um, Yeah, we're still in California I was literally in the shower. I had probably been there for maybe like five minutes or less. And I hear like the kids outside kind of going back and forth because I had the window open. The um, kids. Yeah, the neighbor kids, yeah. Um, and then out of nowhere, I hear my mom going, Geo, Geo, call 911, call 911. And I was like, butt ass naked. And I'm like, what, what do you mean? She goes, Taika, he's, he's choking. He's not breathing, he's not breathing. So then, I come out and I see Taika's lifeless body. I didn't see his mouth blue or anything and I just hear Bart going, Taika, Taika, wake up, wake up. And he's giving him the Heimlich uh, maneuver. Yeah, yeah kind of. It was terrifying. I couldn't hear the operator. I just, I don't know what they were saying. I'm like, this is the address, just get here. He's not breathing. We didn't know what was going on. Um, before anything had happened, he was eating like some chips or something. So we all thought he had something lodged in his head. I mean, in his throat. Um, within like five minutes, cops come rushing in. Taika is just lifeless, inco incoherent. It was so scary. Now he's full of life. Did you talk to me? Oh, talk to who then? Okay, go talk. Yeah, so I, I see something bumpy. I want to see something bumpy? Yeah, see an orange. 
put in that? Oh, you found a treasure, dude. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was open it. Okay. What's in there? Mud? Yeah, I'm Is it your witch's brew still? Okay, can you give me two minutes? I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna finish my story, okay? Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, you can just imagine thinking your one and only child is losing their life right in front of you because we honestly thought. There's something in there. Yep. That something was lodged in there and he couldn't breathe because he just was blue and lifeless. So they come, pick him up, ambulance comes, a bunch of questions. We take him to the uh, ER, they treat him, and then he's slowly coming through and I'm starting to recognize the patterns again of the first time he had a seizure when we picked him up. And everything was, you know, kind of pointing in the direction of another seizure. Um, and then within like 20 minutes, he was back to his normal self. And it is in fact, he did have another seizure. Um, we're still in California now. This happened, like I said, like two days ago, but monitoring him because now this is his second seizure. We do have an uh, we do have him on medication. He takes it in the day and in the night now. So that should keep seizures at bay. We don't know what it is or um, what's causing it. it. It can be genetic. It can be so many things. Um, seizures, as far as I know, doesn't run in my family. Um, it also doesn't run in my, uh, Bart's family, so we just don't really know what's going on. So as soon as we get home next week, um, we're going to get all the testing done all over again. And then just take it from there. Um, let his school know so they know how to treat it just in case. And they know how to... Yucky. And they know how to um, look for it. They, they leave him less. Uh, at least someone will be around him a little bit more. Um, the day I found out that it was a seizure, which is the same day the seizure happened, I rounded up my whole family and I gave everyone a tutorial of what to do in case he has another seizure. And, and I think it'd be really cool if you know, because I didn't know before this. It's kind of sad. Like I'm for sure sad. Because if you've never seen it, it's pretty spicy intense. Spicy. Yeah? That's yeah, I put in that spicy soup. And it's just sad because, you know, he's a baby. And I know he's technically not a baby, but he's a little kid, you know? And like, I didn't have to go through any of this, you know, thank God, and, and neither did Bart. And it's just, you know, it's always a bummer seeing your kids go through medical things, you know? And you kind of wish you can take place of whatever they're going through. Like, you wish you could take their place. Um, but for whatever reason, it's, he's going through it, you know, um, but I just want to share with you guys, one, what's been happening and two, what to do in case you're around someone that has a seizure because, um, it's a scary thing and it, it's intense, but I feel like if we're all equipped with the right tools of how to care for someone that's having a seizure or had a seizure, um, it makes it less daunting and scary and less of an emergency. So, what I learned, the type of um, seizures that we've seen Taika have, and they're all gonna vary. So like, we've already seen him, I've seen him do like a little shake, um, but they can also just start drooling and kind of look like they're on pause. Uh, they could start speaking gibberish, like a seizure will look different every time. But when that happens, if they do so happen to fall, you want to make sure if you're around at least that you can catch their fall because they won't be able to break their fall, so they might hit their head. Um, if they are on the floor already, you want to make sure that they're not around anything where they could potentially hurt themselves because they are moving and they're not quite coherent. Um, you want to get them away from anything sharp or anything loose or anything sharp. where sharp, like a sharp knife. You thought I was talking about sharks. Um, you want to put them on their side the side that you put them on doesn't matter because it because they're drooling and sometimes they may even vomit sometimes they may lose control of their bladder, bladder and they might pee but specifically to the drooling or the vomit you don't want to lay them on their back because then that creates a pool and they can start choking on that so when that happens 
you want to lay them on their side so that they're safe and they don't choke um, you also don't want to stop them from shaking you don't want to restrain them so that they stop moving just let them go through what they need to go through yep as soon as you see the seizure happen just keep in mind don't do that to grandma's plants please no you don't no 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 don't do that um, you just want to make sure that um, if you have a clock or, or a watch I should say or if there's a clock around you or um, if there's a phone if you have a phone just look at what time the seizure started normally if the seizure is anywhere from a few seconds to uh, five minutes you're in no real emergency anything lasting longer than emergency you do want to call 911 and let them know immediately to come and get this person that's still having a seizure um, because their muscles are gonna tense up they might get blue in the face and in the mouth but they are in fact breathing but it's just the amount of breath that they can take in because their muscles are so tense all over the body it's not like they can expand their lungs because of the tension in the muscle so instead of them going like what we can do when our muscles are loose because there's this tense they could only take small breaths so it does look scary but they are in fact breathing um you don't want to stick anything in their mouth what i was told back in the day was that they might swallow their tongue so you want to put something in their mouth so that they don't swallow their tongue and that's not correct um you don't want to put anything in their mouth you have to eat okay um we don't want to eat that yeah and you want to just say positive encouraging words and you know, for the next few minutes, they might not be aware of one, what happened, who they are. Like in Taika's case, he can't even talk. He can't say anything. Um, he starts crying. Um, he doesn't remember anything. He tries to ha, but if he tries to talk at night sounds, uh, 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 and I don't know what he's saying. At the end of it too, he gets really, really tired because his body just went through something pretty, pretty traumatic I guess so he will like be extremely exhausted so I let him sleep and I just give him nothing but encouraging positive words and that's kind of it you just let them go through it and you're just there holding their hand yeah and just, holding their hand if you can and if you, you can you just leave down. them alone but uh, you just let them know that they're not alone and you're there and just remain positive and look at the time and that's kind of it yeah you want to hold your hand when you walk <laughs> i'll go over there and look this but i'm so happy to see him like this hey mama i want to go over there and i get a scoop of that and then eat it okay um but now i know if it gets a little too quiet or if he's acting abnormal then it's highly likely he's having a seizure. I took one bite. I've been doing a ton of research. I took it. Or I eat it. You ate it? Yeah. What did it taste like? Tastes like poop. Okay. Uh, I'm um, I'm and I've been I listening to like lectures. I did, I so yeah. Gross. And research and stuff. And some do say, and I don't. You know, I take this with a grain of salt. I, I'm not banking on it. But some do say that some Earlier, kids. He keeps shaking. Grandma gave me chocolate, and then I melt it in the sun. Now I have to. Yeah, oh, do you want to drink it? No, thank you. Oh, it's not that so disgusting. Mm -hmm. He's been working on this witch's brew for weeks. There is moon pies. What's in here? I'm only spice. Moon pies, French fries, napkins, rice, dirt, old flowers. How do you know that? You told me. You always tell me. There's a bunch of crap in there, but um, yeah, just have to keep an eye on him just a little bit more. I don't want to change anything in his life, um, other than just adding more helmets here and there, um, keeping my ears open a little bit more, and my eyes open, and that's kind of all I can do. <gasps> Uber Eats is here. Lunch. Grandma got him some Popeyes. Pepperoni and cheese. <gasps> I have Fanta, orange Fanta. Oh, Grandma wants today. Do you want to buy some food? I want chicken strips. 
You wanna buy some chicken strips? Yeah. That's how Taika plays with us, so Darima's playing ice with him. In there. Oh, okay, let's go inside there's to go no get some food. Either. Okay. See, look. Alrighty. There's, there's a spice right in there. Oh, God. That's not a ball. That's okay. A spice. Got it. But yeah. Um. Nothing changes. He's a regular what? dude. No. He just has some special things no. about him. But we all there's, do. This is spicy. Okay. You, you cannot, you and that's kind of it. I'm sorry, y'all. This is such a downer way to end this vlog. But know that I don't see the situation as a downer. I just see it as just another thing I gotta check off every day, right? Like, did he take his medication? That's it. I'm not, like I mentioned earlier outside, I'm not gonna treat him differently. Nothing's gonna change in our family. He's the coolest dude ever. He's the monkeyest dude ever. Um, we're just gonna live our normal lives. This doesn't hold us back in any way. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I always believe everything happens for a reason. And the universe or God or whatever it is that you believe in um, just sends us things our way that are meant to be for us. You know? Um, it's a gift that is given to us and we decide if we want to add negative connotation to it or a positive meaning to it. Um, and I refuse to take things negatively, ever. I always feel like there's a lesson in everything that happens and, and, and things just happen, you know? It's us who add, you know, the tone of it's negative or it's positive. Like, it just is. Do you know what I mean? So this is one of those things that just is. And I'm gonna choose to take away as much as I possibly can from it. And look at this. I've been able to share how to treat someone that's having a seizure with you guys. Like, it's already having a positive influence. So now you guys hopefully feel well equipped when you do see something like this, that you don't panic and you're gonna be like, hey, I remember Gio says that, you know, let's just look at my phone, make sure it's not, you know, how long this seizure is gonna last. Just put them on their side, speak to them with love and kindness and positivity and be by their side until they come through. And that's it. You know, so a lot of positive can come from this and I'm just going to view it that way. So thank you guys so much for supporting. I'm always going to keep you guys updated. I will definitely keep you posted on his, you know, whatever's happening in his life. Um, and if you have any questions for me ever, hit me up um, either in the comments or if you want to reach me a little bit faster, just hit me up in the DMs and I'm more than happy to inter interact with you guys. So until then, bye.